What's good, everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben, and today we are taking a look at the Elite Predator X Max. Here's some numbers on me, here's some numbers on the ball, and here's how we laid it out. The Elite Predator X Max is the high performance pearl option from the Elite brand, sitting alongside the Predator Solid featuring the XF Gravitational Pearl cover stock powered inside by the Titan asymmetric core. When this ball showed up on my doorstep, I was excited to see what it had in it. Typically, I'm able to match up with Pearl ASIMs like this pretty fast, and knowing that Elite is not like other brands, I was very curious to see what it looked like going down the lane. For the layout, I knew I wanted to go strong. This is the most asymmetry I have ever had in a bowling ball with the .021 intermediate differential, and the stronger 4x4x4 layout was meant to encourage continuation through the mid lane and ultimately through the pins. And when I got to the lanes, I was happy to see the ball responded to that layout well. The first few shots, I was really focused on keeping my feet under me as it was really humid during filming, but even with that and the slow ball speed with it, the easy length of this ball made keeping my angles in front of me look good while the ball packed the 8-9 a number of times right out of the gates. The Predator X Max barely took into account the early friction of the outside of this house shot, and the polished finish allowed the ball to skid right where it needed to, and the strong core began the hook phase at the right time more often than not. Sure, the strength of the core encouraged the ball to roll out if I got it too far right, missing the head pin a couple times too, but that risk was worth the carry percentage when I threw the ball well. An interesting thing that I noticed in throwing this piece is that it really liked when I kept my axis rotation high. If I stayed behind the ball to roll it up the lane, it labored to get up and off the spot the right way. But I could spin the ball almost as much as I wanted to, and the more I did, the better the shape was front to back, as it really allowed the core to use the power it has built into it. Now I must say, this ball is definitely more comfortable in the track area or outside of it on the lane. As I move left, I could see the easy link that the ball provides being too much, getting behind the head pin if I missed in the oil but the further right I moved, the better the ball looked. I see the Predator X Max being a great piece to go to when there is a lot of urethane in play. It performs well in similar zones as modern urethane while having a ton more differential to combat the inevitable carry down. Not having to open up my angles or take hand out of the ball in these scenarios is an absolute dream, especially when grinding on tough short patterns in a tournament setting. Now there are definitely asymmetric pearls that have stronger covers, that cover more boards, and have more pop down lane from inside. But the point of the game is to strike, and in the right hands and in the right part of the lane, the Elite Predator X Max will absolutely do that. There are a couple types of players that I think would match up with this piece very well. The first are players who love the urethane motion. As the game has evolved, urethane becomes more and more popular every day. Players who love that shape and where they get to play on the lane with urethane will appreciate the fact that the Predator X Max will serve them well as a go-to ball when the look goes away with their urethane options. The other is our rev dominant players, especially those with a lot of axis rotation that want something that will allow them to stay right longer. Every time I maximized my axis rotation, the ball shaped great without having to move way left. Because of the core dynamics, this piece would allow players to drill this ball strong and just do their thing without having to worry about the over under reaction that they may normally struggle with. And honestly, having a piece that you can just hammer on without having to move deep inside might increase your carry percentage enough to be the difference between you making a cut or missing it at your next event. The Elite Predator X Max might not be the most popular ball at your leagues or tournaments, but players open to trying something new to give them a competitive advantage in today's urethane dominated game are sure to appreciate having this option when they need it. And you can pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. And I do want to throw a big shout out to the guys at Striking Edge Pro Shop for the layout and drilling of this piece, as well as to Dale's Western Lands for allowing us to film this video. Before you go, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And remember, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.